Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nunker, and I hope you guys liked my entrance, uh, entrance, little entrance video. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna start putting that, uh, before every one of my videos. Um, just, I don't know, I think it'll give just the video more of a, uh, a theme, I guess, and more of a, um, you know, catch your attention a little more and just give it, like, a, uh, you know, make it look more professional, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be for every one of my videos. Um, uh, the for those of you guys who are wondering, the name of the song is uh, "The Sky's the Limit" by Lil Wayne. Um, I don't think it's on iTunes, but you can find it on but you can find it on YouTube. Uh, it's a good song. Anyways, I so yeah, hope you guys like that. Now, um, what I want to do today is a very anticipated video that um, a lot of people want to see. Um, uh, and a video I want I wanted to do myself for a long time now. Um, this video has been made by a lot of people. A lot of people don't like to make this video because they think they'll receive a lot of criticism, and uh, you know it's a very um, you know it's a very uh, controversial subject. You know, everybody a lot of people have different opinions. So before I start this, I just want to say it's completely completely my opinion. You know, so just don't leave any bad comments saying, you know, you're an idiot or whatever. This is my opinion. So, let's get right to it. So, I am just doing top five pound for pound. Because top ten, that would leave tons of controversy. And I even don't know uh, what I think my top ten uh, pound for pound fighters are. And, you know, obviously this will change over time. So, alright. Let's get right to it. So, we're going to go from... Uh, lowest to highest so number five being the lowest of what uh, the the least the lowest ranked fighter number one being the highest ranked all right number five bj penn bj the prodigy penn um okay so after he lost to george st pierre the second time he was completely off my top five pound for pound he was probably around number 10 after that um i mean i don't know but he was Still my top ten after he lost to George, but not he was ranked low, I would think. Um, he obviously rebounded uh, a couple weeks ago with a win over Kenny Florian, where he looked absolutely spectacular. Um, you know, BJ's back. Uh, he's beaten tons of great guys. He's beaten uh, Matt Hughes. He's beaten Kyle Uno, Eves Edwards. He's beaten... Um, uh, Joe Stevenson, Jens Pulver, Sean Shirk, obviously Kenny Florian, uh, he's, he's the only other man next to Randy Couture to win, uh, a belt in two different weight divisions, he was the welterweight champ, and he was the lightweight champ, um, you know, he's obviously, he's fought Leo Tomachita in K1, uh, he's fought St. Pierre twice, you know, he, he's got great boxing, one of the best boxers in MMA, uh, great flexibility, great jiu-jitsu. He's truly one of the top pound-for-pound -pound fighters. Uh, and I think that he will destroy Diego Sanchez. But, yeah, and great jiu-jitsu. He won, he, like, won some jiu-jitsu tournament. Like, he beat, like, black belts when he was, like, a white belt in jiu-jitsu. You know, he truly is a prodigy, and um, he is ranked number five, number five on my list. Number four. Number four is Fedor Emelianenko. Um, this this one I know I might get some uh, crap on because there are a lot of Fedor nut huggers out there. Um, but Fedor he has fought really good guys, but then afterwards you kind of look back and look who he fought, and it doesn't look as impressive as when he beat them. Tim Sylvia, yeah, he beat him thirty three seconds or thirty six seconds, excuse me. Um, but Ray Mercer knocked him out in 10 seconds. Ray Mercer, that's a 40-some-year-old, you know, formerly retired uh, boxer who Kimbo Slice submitted. And to be knocked out 10 seconds in a fight against him, you know. Um, Tim Sylvia also lost to uh, Noguera. Couture, Randy Couture got dominated by... Um, Tim Sylvia is overhyped. I mean, he's really not that great of a fighter. He's good. He's not great. Andre Arlovsky, Brett Rogers knocked him out. 
way faster than uh, Fedor did, you know. But I don't want to keep going into the negatives of Fedor. Fedor has beaten a lot of great guys. He's beaten Nogueira. He's beaten Krokop. He's beaten Babalu Sobra. He's beaten Matt Lindland. He's beaten, obviously, Tim Sylvia, Andre Arlovsky. He's beaten, um, he's beaten the who's who of heavyweight, of heavyweights, you know. I could go on and on, but uh, he only has one loss in which he ended up avenging, and the loss was to an, by an illegal elbow. He got hit with an illegal elbow, and then he got cut, and they stopped it from a cut, cut stoppage, and he beat the guy. So he's really 30-0, if you think about it, but, um... You know, now Strikeforce signed him, so, you know, we'll see We'll see what fights he gets there. There's great fights from there. And uh, he truly is, in my opinion, one the best heavyweight in the world. But not number one pound for pound. And I do think he's a dot a little bit overhyped. Number three, Lyoto Machida. Lyoto the Dragon Machida. Um, this guy is amazing. Words do not describe, like how elusive he is his style is nobody else does that style and anybody who's tried it obviously has not r really been that successful with it he takes his um shotokan karate style and he adapted it to mma he has great stand-up he's very fast gr he, it's so hard to hit him you know nobody really landed a clean shot on him other than maybe sokaju but other than that really i can't think of it time he got a clean shot. He's beaten BJ Penn. He's beaten Stefan Bonner. Rich Franklin, first man to beat Rich Franklin. Uh, he's beaten Sam Greco. He's beaten Tito Ortiz. Sam Hoger. David Heath. Um, he's beaten Thiago Silva. And now he's the UFC light heavyweight champion. He beat uh, Rashad Evans. Dominated him. Gave him his first loss. And I can't see anybody at light heavyweight really giving him a good fight. I don't know who could beat him. He's got great ground game as well, um, and now he's starting to finish guys as well, and that's that's scary. And uh, he's never lost. He's undefeated, and I definitely think that he is worthy of number three and possibly even number two um, if he beats Shogun Hua. Um, so number three is Leo Tomichito on my list.